my favorite glue compressor and preset, and it's even free. Here are five examples. So my favorite glue compressor is the Tan compressor from Acoustica Audio and it's free. And the preset I use is Attack 10, Rage 4, Release 0.1. And then I just adjust threshold and gain. So let's listen. And try to look away. Now it starts to work. Now it's like it's hitting a wall and I think it makes it more energetic. And it's like all those pauses in between the hits gets amplified and also the actual transient of the hits gets amplified. So let's uh, bypass it. This is of course louder, but I think it's pretty simple to hear that here it's like it's very open and it's not as energetic I would say let's turn it on again and we can turn up the volume a bit it's like when he's hitting he's hitting even harder without and here it's more like boom, boom, boom. So, what is a glue compressor? I think of a glue compressor as something that glues everything together. So that means that everything starts to react to everything. So the bass drum reacts to the snare drum and the snare drum reacts to the hi-hat and everything is kind of like starting to play together. So I would also call a glue compressor a play together compressor. For me, I can use it to like make things seem more together. And I think that's why it's called a glue compressor because it glues stuff together. What I think this preset does is that it enhances the transient. So every time there's a, a kick, a hit, something it gets more snappy and then right away it it also enhances everything in between the hits because it has a really fast release time so it will turn down when there is a loud hit and uh, as soon as this loud hit is over then it will return to zero and in that way actually enhance everything in between so it kind of amplifies the transients and also the hits in between that's my best way of explaining it besides that you just listen and try it out for yourself let's add the tank compressor to the master bus and adjust threshold and listen to what happens You can hear that the snare drum gets soft, squished. But now it sounds like it's actually like playing from the same speakers. It's like it's all trying to get out of the speaker at the same point instead of that the drums is just a bit loud so without and we can also just hear now that the drums are way too loud so we can also turn the drums down a bit but now I think it's like Everything starts to react to each other. When the snare drum hits, everything is like bam, reacting. But this is also very aggressive.
So this is with without with and this is on the master bus bypassed I think it just like enhances all of this energy So here is another example. So without with it just like it feels like it's closer to me and it's more energetic even if we turn down the gain a bit. It just feels like the energy just went away. And I think you can like listen to the ride and listen to how it kind of gets amplified in between the hits because the compressor turns up everything in between the hits and amplifies the transients of the hits. And in that way it's just trying to like make everything shine. So without with without with Try to adjust the attack. I also like attack at three. You can listen to the toms. It just like hits a bit harder now. Turn. So always remember to play around with the attack and release times. It's just a really good way to learn about compressors. So another kind of jump, the same preset, and again I just dialed in the threshold for my liking. So without. And it just it's just like it sounds like he is fighting more. But you can also hear that the room, the ambience gets a bit louder because it's in between the hits. So it's like when I push this button, it's like like driving a car and changing gear. It just adds this energy. And sorry for saying it so many times. It just impresses me that so little can, can do so much. It's just like he's working harder. You can also use this preset for a snare drum. And in this instance, I use glue compressor that's built into Ableton. And 
the preset is actually a bit different in this instance because I think that the 10 attack time is like in between 10 and 30. It behaves a bit strange compared to most other compressors. But uh, let's try to listen to the difference between 10 and 30. So without... And with... Get some more snap. Let's try to do it with the 30. You can hear with 30, it doesn't get the snappiness because there's too much of the signal that isn't compressed. So when we have a faster attack time, like 10, it enhances the transient of the hit and makes it more energetic, I think. But I think I actually like three more. Now it got really snappy. And now we st just start to squash the transient out of the snare drum. I think three has the most hits. I really love the tank compressor. It really just adds some magic. It's like it has this transformer quality that when you insert it into the loop, it just adds something. But it also adds a lot of latency. So therefore I sometimes use the built-in glue compressor because it simply just works. When I use the built-in glue compressor, I'm a bit more aware of the attack time because uh, sometimes I think it sounds best with 30, sometimes 10 and uh, sometimes three. And it, the 10 doesn't have like this golden ratio as I think the Acoustica 10, 10 has. But I think it's so important to listen to what does the job for you. For me, three adds even more snappiness. 10 makes it snappy, but in a natural way. And 30 is also a really natural way of enhancing the transient and make it a bit more snappy. It's all about how aggressive you use the compressor, but I think it's really easy to actually sit down and listen to the different attack times, three, 10 and 30, and just like listen to how snappy, how much energy the compressor adds and learn something. If you like this video, then please hit the thumbs up button and consider to subscribe to my channel. It would truly make me happy. Enjoy.